Jaguars are the fifth seed Chargers now. I have this pulled up here. This is the head-to-head -head record between these two teams. They only met one time this season back in September. September 25th. Um, the Jaguars won that one 38-10 over the Chargers. Let's look at the box score, see what happened here. So this is back in week three. Okay. Uh, Trevor Lawrence went 28 or 39. Um, this is the game that Lawrence like went off. I think it might be Robinson at the end. Just Robinson went for 100. The Chargers run game. That's the big difference. I mean, you're at least rusher at 22 yards. You come in there with uh, 145 just between those two guys. Um, you're going to win a lot of games that way. Um, let me real quick see. Um, just because I want to get a little bit. So the Jaguars are the number 10 defense or offense. The Chargers are the number 13 offense. Um, on defense, Jags are 12. Chargers are 21. Wow. So the Jags statistically are actually the better team in both sides of the ball. I know that the run defense for the Chargers has been rough. I mean, this... I don't imagine that the Chargers will have this bad of a rushing game again, like your leading scorer. Eckler only got five yards. That's probably not going to happen again. And receiving Eckler, Palmer, yeah, they just... they were shut down defensively in this game. For sure. September 25th. Yeah. Jack was just all Jacksonville. Pretty much. 38 then. Um, man, that's tough. Um, my heart says Chargers, though. And I don't know why. Like, the Jaguars have been surging. Gotten hot at the right time. The Chargers just lost to the Broncos. The Broncos are one of the worst teams in the NFL. They just lost to them. But I feel like I'd be stupid to pick the Jaguars over the Chargers because, like, I feel like the talent on the Chargers is better. I feel like the Chargers have better top end talent. Week three. stats that, that they're higher Jaguars are higher rated offense and higher rated defense a part of me just feels like the Chargers are gonna win I know that's stupid that's like a dumb way to to do things okay I'm gonna go Jaguars. Uh, I'm not confident with it, but I'm going to listen to the stats on this one. Okay, Bengals, Ravens. Bengals are the three seed. Ravens are the six seed. Uh, they played each other twice this season. Um, the first game, the Ravens won by two. Um, 19 to 17 in Baltimore um, but then the second meeting was just this most recent week uh, the 8th so just a couple days ago and the 
Bengals won that one 27-16. Um, now, is Lamar Jackson going to be back for the playoffs? Um, will he be? Da, da, da. Let's see. Here's a report. The nature of Lamar Jackson's injury will not allow him to be his full self for a while. working hard to return. Um, let's see. Tyler Huntley is preparing to start, but the former first round draft pick is working hard to get back in time for Sunday. He even told some people he thinks he'll be back. Though, like it wasn't 
their full full strength of their squad, honestly. Um, the Giants were basically like, yeah, we're losing this one. Um, but the Minnesota Vikings had the number eight offense. The, um, the Giants had the number 16 offense on the other side of the ball on D. Um, let's see, the Giants are at 18. Minnesota's all the way down at 30. So that defensive matchup, that is where the Giants can potentially get the win here if they can expose oh, that weaker Vikings defense. Um, but I, I do think this will be the Vikings game to lose. So I will be, I'll be picking the Vikings to win that one. Um, I know I have some fans that are Giants fans in my heart. I hope you win, but for my prediction's sake, I hope the Vikings win. Uh, finally, 49ers Seahawks. Listen, I'm a Seahawks fan. I'm super happy we made it into the playoffs, but I have no delusions that we're going to go far, that we're going to, you know, do whatever. The 49ers have been a top three, top five team in the NFL since acquiring Christian McCaffrey. Um, the only, the only weak point you can potentially look at is Brock Purdy being their starter because Jimmy G is hurt, but Brock Purdy has won five in a row, so I'm not even really sure that's a weak point. Um, like I said, I'm super happy that we made it this far, but I kind of think uh, the show stops here. I think the 49ers beat the Seahawks. So, in the NFC, I have the divisional round being Cowboys versus Eagles, which is going to be an amazing matchup. That's going to be an amazing matchup. Um, a great rivalry, obviously. And then Vikings Niners. Uh, so in the AFC, you have the Jags being the Chargers. Maybe a bit of an upset, I don't know. The Bengals being the Ravens and the Bills being the Dolphins. In the NFC, I have the Cowboys being the Bucks, the Vikings being the Giants, and the Niners beating the Seahawks. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next week, we'll get into the divisional round once the wild card's done. We'll get into the divisional round and uh, talk about these games, obviously. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, love to hear in the comments down below what you think about these predictions, what you think about these matchups, which ones you think I'll get right, which ones you think I'll get incorrect. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content, just like this almost every single day, and until next time guys, bye bye.